<laughs> yeah, the oh, inexperienced good. guy's talking to his friend about his first encounter with a prostitute, and he's like, man, it was totally crazy. Right when I came, she screamed, whip me, bad boy, whip me. And the friend's like, what did you do then? And he goes, well, I, I didn't have a whip, so I headbanged her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to picture that. Uh, so this deaf man goes in a pharmacy to buy condoms, and he tries to explain what he wants using sign language. And the pharmacist doesn't really understand. So the deaf man puts out his penis, and he puts out a $50 bill. And the pharmacist then pulls out his penis and takes the $50 and puts them in his pocket. And the deaf man gets all red in the face and starts swaving violently. And, and the pharmacist goes, look, if you can't stand losing, you shouldn't make a bet, buddy. <laughs> and you know why 60% of all men are unable to sleep after sex? Why? Because they're all on their way home. And, you know, 90%, 92% of all the men who will fall asleep within 20 minutes after having sex. And so, therefore, this could lead to dangerous situations in traffic since... They're all on their way home to their wives. At the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But my husband told me that he loved blowjobs, and he said, you know what's the best part of a blowjob? And I said, no, what, honey? And he said, ten minutes of peace and quiet. You shut mm -hmm. the fuck up. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. Damn. Yeah. I work with a colleague, and he was smelling so bad. that I, You know, I try to be discreet. I don't think it'd be like polite to just say, come out and say, hey, you stink, you know, or whatever. So I just said, hey, do you ever shower after sex? And he said, oh, yeah, always. And I said, well, maybe it's time you have some sex. <laughs> <laughs> you know why uh, men always give their jackets to the women when they're cold? Mm. Well, who wants to have a blowjob from a woman who's shaking with her teeth chattering? Blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, Out! Right above it. And the girl says, you're the worst lover I've ever been with. And the guy goes, how the hell can you tell that in only 10 seconds? <laughs> 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 yeah, my vet, Dr. Anderson, he's had a bad conscience ever since he had sex with one of his patients. Yeah, one voice is going, follow your desires, and another voice is saying, remember, you're a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> my, and my dog is pregnant now, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, a couple of blonde jokes for you. How does a blonde kill an earthworm? Carries it alive. Oh. <laughs> Why do blondes never bake double batches of cookies? Why? They know no oven can heat up to 750 degrees. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's 25, whatever. So a blonde teacher went on a school trip with her third graders. And after she and the class had been waiting in the station for almost three hours, it became too much for her. She walked up to the staff and she said, I don't care what you say. We're getting on the next train, even if it only has first and second class written on it. <laughs> Two blondes are having a conversation. Have you heard that the gas prices are rising? The second one says, Oh, yeah, but it doesn't bother me at all. It doesn't even matter. I'll never put more than $15 in my tank. <laughs> <laughs> you know why the uh, blonde only changes her baby's diaper once a month? The package says, up to 20 pounds. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all those things will hold, too. Oh, my God. A little one. She's out riding around with her mom in the car, and this huge dildo slams across the front window. Little Lindsay's like, what was that, Mommy? And the mom says, uh, it was a really big insect, honey. And little Lindsay says, damn, it had a really big cock on it. Mm. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, yesterday I saw this guy. He spilled all his Scrabble letters right out in the middle of the road, and I said, What's the word on the street? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> this woman's in labor, and she starts screaming, 
shouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't, didn't, can't, don't worry, says the doctor. Those are just contractions. <laughs> <laughs> Hear about the actor who fell through the floorboards? He was just going through a stage. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. This guy tells his doctor, hey, doc, help me. I'm addicted to Twitter. And the doctor says, sorry, I don't follow you. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of exercise lazy people do? Fiddly squats. <laughs> <laughs> What does Charles Dickens keep in his spice rack? Mm. The best of time, the worst of times. Mm. <laughs> you gotta love customer service. I, I, I call this little uh, like hardware store, store and I go, look, I got a Roundup multi-purpose sprayer that's defective. And the customer reps go like, ma'am, we need the exact name of the item. Do you have the box? And I'm like, well, no, but it's the Roundup multi-purpose sprayer. And the rep's like, ma'am, we need the box so we can have the exact name of the product. And I go, well, hang on. I'll go out into the garage and get the box. And I'm like running out there, puffing and puffing it. I go, I have it. It says, it says, uh, round up multi-purpose sprayer. Customer rep says, thanks for the information, ma'am. Yeah. I hate customer information. They're bastards. So, it's Brit. He's going to fly into Australia, and the immigration officer says, Do you have any felony convictions? And the Brit says, Oh, I'm sorry, old chap. I didn't realize it was still a requirement to get here. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, I said to my sister, Those frames are so flattering. My sister had just gotten new glasses after 25 years, and she didn't like them. Well, they're okay, she said, and she was staring at herself in the mirror gloomily, all gloomy. I said, well, can you see better? And she said, yeah, I see better. And I said, well, what's wrong? And she goes, well, for the first thing, I thought I was still cute, but oh, God, I'm ugly. 